there, time for Timer, your roving reporter. I'm talking to you from inside a fantastic factory, your digestive system. You know what we build here? You! Not out of wood or metal, but out of food. You see, you are what you eat from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and eggs and fish you need to build up muscle tissue. Uh-oh! Hello, appetite control, more protein. We need energy. Playing tennis today, you know. Whoops! All these motors in your body need a lot of fuel to go on, like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, vitamins, and so on. What's left over forms the building blocks you need, indeed, to grow on. Yes, you are what you swallow, so that next time you feel hollow, don't just fill your face with any old kind of treat. This goes for every kid or six-foot athlete. All you really are is what you eat. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> oh, howdy, partner. Time for timer. Do you ever get that hungry feeling after school? Boy, I do. I'm so hungry, I could eat a wagon wheel. When I'm slow on the draw and I need something to chaw, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. <laughs> when my ten gallon hats are feeling five gallons flat, I got something planned, which is little cheese sandwiches. Come on! <laughs> Here's a great little snack to tide you over till dinner. If you want something delicious and nutritious, cheese is a super snack. Look, a wagon wheel. When my get up and go has got up and went, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When I'm dancing, I hold down and my boots kind of slow down. Or any time I'm weak in the knees. I hanker for a hunk of, a slab or slice a chunk of, a snack or day is a winner. And yet won't spoil my dinner. I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Yahoo! Hi, time for timer. What? No time for breakfast. Now look, since six o'clock last night you haven't eaten a bite. Come on, I'll show you why that's really not the way for a growing kid to start a busy day. Here we are inside your body and this noisy empty space is your stomach getting angry cause there's no food in the place. Uh oh, let's find some food fast. Now listen. I don't want you to think this is the best way to eat breakfast, but in case you can't cook, and if you haven't time for a good cereal in a well-balanced meal, then this quickie breakfast is better than nothing at all, okay? Hey, here's orange juice and milk and fruit just waiting to be taken. And bless my soul, right here's a bowl with one cold piece of steak in. A hard-boiled egg or chicken leg or cheese or lunch and meat. Or a peanut butter sandwich any time of day is a treat. So do keep your mom from grumbling and stop that stomach rumbling. And keep your legs from stumbling when you play. You gotta eat some kind of breakfast every day. Yuck! Oh, come on! Don't knock it till you try it. Put a little on your plate. Don't make a face before you taste it. Some kids think it's great. Why don't you try a smorgasbord dinner? Which means a smidgen of this and a smidgen of that. Don't knock it till you try it. Eating can be fun. With little bites of different things instead of lots of one. Don't quibble till you nibble a dabble or a dibble of everything that's on your plate. And then go back and eat the things you like again. Hey, kid, have a carrot. A carrot? Carrot sticks are yes, indeed. They are delicious. If you must eat in between meals, why not eat nutritious dishes? Like fill a bowl with ice cubes and add raw cauliflower. Stuff celery with cheese and let it chill for half an hour. Add carrot sticks and olives and any other knickknacks. Then keep this by the TV set for when you want those quick snacks. Well? Well, but well, I'm waiting. Could you make me a banana? Okay, you're a banana. Hi, time for timer, and time to make a week's supply of healthy after-school snacks. Now some weekend when it's raining and your mother is complaining, cause you're hanging around just twiddling your thumbs. Tell your mom that you've been itching to make something in the kitchen, and oh yes, the mess will be a minimum. But the thing that's going to please her is you make it in the freezer, and nothing could be easier to fix. Now just watch as I go through it. Really, all you need to do it is some kind of juice and just a few toothpicks. Okay, now take an empty ice tray and fill it up with orange juice or lemonade or pomegranate juice or whatever turns you on. Then cover the tray with plastic wrap, carefully poke the toothpicks through the plastic, put it in the freezer, and in a few hours, presto, stacks of snacks. Don't wait until it rains before you try this nifty trick. You'll have a fun time making sunshine on a stick. 
Hey, kids, want to have teeth that shine? Then do what I do to mine. Open up. Learn to brush with little strokes at the gum line. Up and down, back and front, not across. And after brushing, rinse them. Then pull down between with dental floss. Every day you must protect them, or else cavities will wreck them. Decay may strike in some forgotten spot. Be fair to yourself. Take care of yourself. Remember, you're the only you you got.